Hey YouTube, in a previous video I used this flatbed scanner as a primitive camera. If you paid attention you'll have noticed that all the images it produces are in black and white. That's because a scanner doesn't receive uh, frequencies of light in the same way that a camera does, like the camcorder I'm using to record myself right now. In a standard camera, the image sensitive device has a Bayer filter in front that actually filters the light by color. There are little green and red and blue filters in front of each pixel. In a document scanner like this one, all of the sensors are monochrome. They only record the intensity of light, uh, not paying attention to the actual wavelength. In order to extract a color image using the uh, intensity only type of sensor, you can illuminate the image uh, using different frequencies of light. There's a strip of red, green, and blue LEDs directly next to the sensor in the scanner. As the scanner moves down the document, the uh, LEDs light up one at a time, illuminating the image in uh, different frequencies of light. The scanner pays attention to which lights are on as it's recording the document and reassembles it into a full color image after the uh, scanning has completed. Using my high-speed camera, you can actually see this color cycling as the scanner moves its way down the page. By wiggling your eyes side to side and looking at the scanner as it moves down the document, you can see a bit of a rainbow effect. This is similar to the rainbow effect that was seen in early DLP rear projection televisions. Here's a very close up look of that LED illumination that's on the carriage. That pattern of stripes you can see is a diffuser made to try and distribute the light as evenly as possible across the whole width of the document. Sometimes when you'll start your scanner up, it'll tell you that it has to calibrate, and it's adjusting for any inconsistencies between the brightness of LEDs at one end uh, to the brightness of the LEDs at the other. One of the biggest advantages to this multicolored lighting uh, monochrome sensor system is that you have three times the spatial resolution of a color filtered sensor. Each pixel on the sensor in this setup can be used to detect all three wavelengths of light being used. In a scanner that would use a white light source and uh, colored filters in front of the pixels, each pixel can only detect one frequency of light at a time. That means you either have one-third the spatial resolution if the scanner uses the same sensor, or you have to have three times as many sensors to get the same resolution. So how does all of this lead to monochrome images when the scanner is used as a camera? The LEDs that would normally illuminate the document are nowhere near bright enough to illuminate through the lens and illuminate the scene. So the light of all frequencies passes through the lens and falls on the sensor all the time. This means that the sensor receives even lighting uh, during all three color periods of its scan. If you could put a three-segmented colored filter in front of the lens and spin it in perfect synchronous with the LEDs on the carriage, you could actually produce some color images using this scanner as a camera, but it wouldn't be a very practical one. I hope you found this interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.